my cancer legacies uh, welcome back to my channel for those that are new for those that are returning thank you so this week i wanted to introduce you to uh, the new love format that i wanted to present uh for this uh this week i did notice that i missed your reading the previous week so i'm gonna open it up in dedication to you uh, let's go ahead, let's pull your spread with the light sears. I'll go ahead, pull a few love cards from the Hidden Truth, which is the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine edition. And then we have the Romance Angels Oracle cards. All right, that was a lot. All right, I already went ahead and meditated on your guys' energy. Oh. All right, let's take a look at how you're feeling, how they're feeling, and everything in between. Let's get down to the business. Beautiful. That was a beautiful shuffle. I'm feeling good about it. I would show you, but I can't. I would be like, I got chills, but no. All right. Let's shuffle the hidden truth. How do they really feel, Cancer? It's a real question, right? Ooh. <sighs> Cancer, I want you so badly. Okay, this is how they really feel. This is this popped out immediately at the very beginning. There's a very strong presence and a desire to want you, to want to be around you, to see what you're doing, to speak to people that know about you. Okay, um, let's go ahead. I'm gonna pull a few cards using the light sears. I already went ahead, shuffled, meditated. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Okay, there's a lot of opportunities for you currently, presently. I'm strongly feeling like this is in regard to a cancer that may, may be recently single. Okay, it's like or you're starting to open up to the idea of having new love come in because you have several opportunities, several paths, several lovers presenting presenting themselves to you currently at this time, Cancer. Um, you're also opening it up within your heart chakra, which is why people want you badly because you're you're receptive to it. You're opening up. Your, you're opening yourself up. You're being vulnerable. Uh, you're being transparent and direct and assertive of what you want. Is what I'm hearing. Okay, tower moment. Ooh. Okay, something's about to happen. Very unexpected. This is definitely someone presenting themselves in your life, okay? This could be someone that you were waiting to hear from is what I'm hearing. Also someone that's presenting uh, their love for you, okay? Someone that you didn't think would be possible. What else, Spirit Guides, Angels? Give me three more cards. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands and the King, Queen of Cups. You're definitely surrendering is what I'm hearing. You're surrendering, you're opening yourself up. There's a lot of limelight on you currently. However, there is still something that is very much burdening you with the Ten of Wands. Okay, this is some type of weight. This could be in regard to a past lover. For some of you, it's in regard to that. For others, it's definitely in regard to work, to school. You're carrying on this heavy load, multitasking. You're definitely trying to play, go ahead and play the magician and the high priestess, which well within your right, you have the capability of doing so because you have this higher sense of knowledge, of intellect, of responsibility, okay? You're definitely being assertive. You're speaking your mind, you're speaking your voice. 
you're coming across as someone very uh, desirable. And I think this is why people want you so badly. Okay, let's go ahead and pull more cards for you uh, from the hidden truth. Okay, so we have, will you ever make things right, Cancer? Will you ever make things right? I don't have the feeling that you did anything wrong, however. I miss hearing your voice. I would do it all again. To me, what I'm hearing is that it's almost like this ended, uh, more so based off life uh, terms, life conditions, different paths, different decisions, right? However, in their mind, they still feel, or maybe in their feelings as well, I'm hearing that they feel as if you owe them an apology. However, in your mind, you think, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, I don't know, I don't owe you or anyone an apology. I'm doing what's best for myself, my future. I'm hearing Billie Eilish, uh, my future, okay? I'm so in love with my future. So we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, this, this could have been key right here. This could have been differences within uh, the relationship. I'm strongly feeling as if though there's gonna be this reconciliation, definitely speaking, okay? Yeah, like I said, there is differences in life, decisions, career, path. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm hearing that, that maybe they didn't fulfill your needs. There is a strong sense of not being adequate enough for you. Let's see what else. Give me two more cards for cancer. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to fun, spirit of fun to shine. Okay. Let's see what else. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation. To unfold naturally. Can you use your thing? The thing that you use to clear your ass? Yeah, it's all in my bathroom. Get out of here. I think I'm on video. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Sorry for the disruption. In regard to the p playfulness, so I'm strongly feeling like as if you're exploring this new, uh, this new uh, avenue, this new place in mind of self, okay? It's like you're finally starting to appreciate being single cancer. You're understanding the value of being single, the opportunities, the, you know, unlimited, yeah, the unlimited opportunities, sky is the limit. Like, it's almost as if you were, you are better off at, as yourself in your own lane, focusing on bettering yourself and becoming a better version of who you were yesterday. This is your current superpower right now. And this is why you are the magician and the high priestess is because you have the ability to settle differences you are totally okay cancer with agreeing to disagree right you have this capability of surrendering with the queen of cups you're very 
uh, emotionally balanced, okay? Even though there is this, you know, burden that creeps up on you, okay? This could be in regard to a relationship, career, finances. It could have been in regard to your significant other's previous uh, inability to contribute to his end or her end of the relationship, right? It's like someone in a relationship can't always take, take, take. Like there has to be a give at some point. Um, there's a lot of opportunities opening up for you at this current time. There's definitely this new limelight shown on you. You have this amazing talent, okay? Where you're shining as a star, you are a celebrity. Uh, you have this very attractive characteristic magnitude of a personality that draws people in. And this is why ultimately at the end of everything, as your overall reading, people want you so badly. Okay, you are influential, you're attractive, you're able to draw people in just by being your authentic self. And that is the true superpower of this reading for you, Cancer. And the most important thing is that you are fearless. You don't care what others think. And that is exactly why you're able to be on this pedestal that you put yourself on, okay? This is why you're ascending. This is why the bottom of your feet are at the top of many people's heads because you're just on a higher level. You're just on a higher level, okay? Most people to you are down here. You're up here. You're not here, you're up here. And you're doing this humbly, okay? You gracefully accept this, uh, you know, position in life and you do it well, okay? Not arrogantly. Um, I'm hearing that you do it with this such nice, beautiful poise that it's respected it's highly respected and that is truly what everyone wants in this life is to be respected and treated as if they were treating themselves right treat others as you wish to be treated it sounds very cliche but it's ultimately very true um i'm hearing pull another card from here all right let's see what it is oh They said not like that. <laughs> not like that, how about like this? Okay. I wish we could go back. Okay, so yeah. This person knows they, they fucked up, you know? This person <laughs> knows, just like I, with this, okay? Um, this person knows, okay, that they, lost someone irreplaceable cancer you're someone irre irreplaceable okay hear me irreplaceable and unforgettable and this is gonna you know eat at them for the rest of their life because they let something good go and it's not until they've lost you cancer now that they've realized how ungrateful they were, right? It's like people don't realize or aren't in gratitude of the people they have or don't have until they lose or gain them, right? One more, another, yes or no? don't want I don't I don't know what you want I don't know what you want and then we have here I am recovering yeah no yeah no I'm hearing no not that 
um so they don't know what you want this person is very confused i feel i feel like in the day i'm hearing in the day they daydream they definitely visualize and they hold on to you okay so what i'm hearing is it's almost like they hold on to the memories the photographs watching your social media uh the songs that you like the songs that remind you, them of you they speak to you to the friends that you have in common because that's the little thread of lightning that still connects you to them and they're still incapable of letting you go so they're holding on to whatever they can to still feel attached to you okay um and this is something that, that they're doing unconsciously i don't think they're aware um i'm bringing this to your awareness i'm hearing i'm hearing to tell you so Hear this very carefully because this is very important. You have to start to set your boundaries and detach from people, places, and things that you guys have in common because until that thread is fully cut, this person is gonna linger and wait and have this uh, resentment towards you because they're expecting for you to come back to make things right um right to make things right but the thing is is that they're they're uh they're misinformed they're they have misinterpreted the situation the relationship you have to make clear the reality of the separation of the breakup cancer okay they're willing to do it all over again they wish that this could go back and what eats at them is because they don't know where you stand so it's almost like as if they believe that if they still hold on to whatever connects them to you that there's a possibility of you guys running into each other and they're thinking that if you just see them if you just see them if you just hear their voice then everything will go back to what it was okay if this message resonated cancer leave a comment down below like subscribe when you guys do that it really helps the algorithm of this channel so you can continue to get readings like this uh pleasure doing your reading i loved introducing in this new format uh you know it's a combination of a tarot spread with a love spread and in and within that the hidden truth okay the hidden truth in the tarot love spread if you like this spread leave a comment down below tell me why okay and most importantly cancer do not forget to live out your best logo so